Number two, Red Hot Run. Red Hot Run is one of my favorite levels because every character has their own different, unique path for the level that makes it as fun and enjoyable as possible. Mario's here, as you can see, him being the all-rounder means that his jumps are limited, but he can take a really fun path with tons of sharp turns, jumps, and tough decisions between pathways. You pretty much have the whole freedom choice with Mario. Just don't go into the middle because that won't work. Luigi, being the one who jumps really high, can take a more risky path involving multiple shortcuts and cheats. As you can see, you can jump through the gold rings on the level, take the spike paths if you want, you can go through the middle path if you want there. You can even jump over this hole here. And then you can take a huge shortcut this way. And that way also. The possibilities are also pretty much endless for Luigi, making him a really fun character to use on this level. Peach works a lot with Luigi. She takes the same about paths, she can pull off the same shortcuts, but with her float ability, she can skip countless boost pads, and this can slow you down. This can be a really fun technique to use, but not really recommended for speed running. So right now, Luigi's the all-star. Toad, you think, would be one of the most fun people to use on this stage, because he's super fast, but he's really not all that different from anyone else. In fact, there's no noticeable difference in him for all the other characters in this stage at all. His jump is the same as Mario's, so basically he can only do the stuff that Mario could. There's nothing really special about this character. Now, of course, Rosalina's the best character for this stage, like she is for basically every other stage in the game. With her awesome spin double jump ability, she can avoid basically any obstacle with grace and ease. It's so fun to control Rosalina all the time. There's no situation which you can't escape with Rosalina. She can take every shortcut, and she can even jump high enough to get through the middle section. Rosalina is the best character for this level, by far. As for the secrets, they're really well hidden. There's a coin block back here, and if you hit it enough times, it'll turn into a super coin block. I don't think these things have real names, so I just call them super coin blocks. And this is awesome since it's a running level, so you just keep going until it runs out. Also down here, you think it's a death pit, but it's actually not. And going down here, you'll find this area that has a superstar and a ton of Goombas. Tons of one-ups. Awesome. Stay tuned for the final installment of SM3D World Marathon. And... Bye!